Uh, somebody just informed me that the last video I shot uh, around Change Yourself, um, apparently the internet connection was bad and it scrambled the video and then went bad. So uh, I was asked to reshoot the, kit, the tip, so here I am. Uh, instead of in the gym, which actually worked out better because I just finished training with, with a friend of mine and I could barely hold the camera, my arm was shaking, and I definitely wasn't present because my mind was blown away. <laughs> it was starving for oxygen from the workout. Uh, so uh, today's theme change yourself, change the world. As Gandhi said, be the, be the change you wish to see in the world. And the reason I held it in my friend's gym is uh, one of the reason, one of the places in my life that I wasn't staying at high peak performance was working on my vehicle. So I reached out, hired a trainer uh, to keep me accountable and push me to the levels that I need to go and grow in order to bring my vehicle back online at the high levels to run the current that I run and, and will continue to run. So. Think about that. You know, where is some place in your life you need to step up a notch, whatever that is. So this theme, uh, or a couple tips below the below this video, post in what are your five top three to five. What are the things that keep you healthy and vibrant? So here are a couple of mine. One, water. Hydrate. Uh, I drink at least a gallon of water every day. Everybody's got their rhythm. I'm not telling you to do that. A simple place to start if you if you're not sure. Take your body weight, let's say I'm 200 pounds, cut that in half, 100 pounds, turn it into ounces. So at least 100 ounces a day, right? So for your body weight, it's a good place to start. And then find your rhythm. I don't know what that is for you, but definitely drink more. Just like the earth, right? We have the same um, connection. So the earth is 75% water, 25% land mass. Same with the body, right? We're 75% water. Um, you need to replenish that, good stuff. The next is, um, for me, breath work. Being conscious. Human beings are both involuntary and voluntary breathers. Unfortunately, most humans are involuntary breathers. And when I bring this up with folks, they're like, well, of course I'm breathing. I'm still alive. No, that's a survival breath. It's a basic physiological breath. You're inhaling and exhaling just to stay alive. That's it. To come online at a higher level, conscious breathing. Choose to engage with your breath. To periodically check in throughout the day and choose to breathe. Bring in not only more oxygen, but prana, life force, to revitalize your body. And you do that just a few times throughout the day. Game changer, right? I'll, I'll do a post about that later in detail, just about conscious breathing. For me, personally, a plant-based diet from a nutritional place. I've been a vegetarian for 28 years. I'm not you know, pushing that on anybody. My stuff is my stuff. Yours is yours. But I would highly encourage you to add more plant-based uh, nutrition back into into your dietary intake, whatever that looks like for you. Um, another one, be in nature. Be around life, right? Everything in nature is has life force. And when we are in um, concrete village, right, especially for those that live in the city, when you're constantly around concrete village, there's, there's no life around there except for some of the people, and some of the people don't have life either. They're, they're walking zombies. So be around life to re-engage your own life force, to bring yourself back online. That's, that's one of my health tips for me, right? Might serve you, might not. It's totally up to you. Huge gift from one of my greatest teachers, Pasquale Cerasoli, is conscious languaging. This is probably the gift that changed my life the most tremendous at the top for sure. Conscious languaging is paying attention to what you say to yourself and also how we communicate to the world because it represents our true belief systems. No matter what we think we think, listen to what you say to yourself and to the world because that's truly what you believe. Uh, as with me and so initially it's a it's a challenge I'll give you that but stay with it just that gift alone will radically change your life conscious language um, let's see well I was in the gym earlier so training three to five times a week whatever that works for you whatever you like uh, Bruce my friend Bruce did that the, a couple days ago when I was in San Diego he shared something about that find something you love and, and enjoy right whatever that is uh, soccer uh, hacky sack, dancing, hula hooping, you know, bicycling, swimming, uh, skydiving, you know, whatever works but you know, moves your system, do it. And um, for me, of course, the adjusting process, getting cleared out. Um, uh, the adjusting process allows to integrate the experiences of life so the nerve system comes back online and grows to a higher level so we don't store the stresses and tensions of life that we all experience physically, chemically, mentally, emotionally. Adjusting process. So those are mine. Do me a favor and add yours below. Uh, so I can learn from you. Uh, what are the top three to five things that keep you online? And uh, to
do a plug for my brother who I was training with that we didn't get to share that with. His name is uh, uh, um, All Point Fit. www.all points fit. All points fit .com. Tim Underwood. He's a, a two time Mr. USA, amazing trainer. Uh, so if you're local in the Tri Cities region, reach out to Tim at allpointsfit.com and tell him Lou sent you, and he will hook you up for, for a complimentary first round through to show you what's possible for private training uh, so you can come back online if that's something you're looking for. So thanks for listening, pay attention, but please share below so I can learn from you. Peace, blessings, ciao.